interesting they had a huge ultraman suits version 7.3 a huge box i believe this is probably one of those one and six scales and they're only selling it for 438 hong kong dollars so you're looking roughly about six Okay guys, so today I'm here in Ao Tau Kok. This is the region of Hong Kong called Ao Tau Kok. And this is a shopping mall called Amoy Gardens. Now this is actually a proper sort of shopping mall. Uh, they have a residential building on top. And this shopping mall has, uh, it's, pretty much, it's pretty much for residential uh, people to come. It's not like a huge shopping mall, but in here you're not looking at something that you saw before like an inch point, you're looking more at like things that people want to buy for the home appliances there's a lot of restaurants to eat here so it's not like one of those small types of shopping malls that you normally go to what's unique about it is that they do actually have some family-owned toy shops in here that have been on and open for ages and they actually haven't shut down even due to the economy that's going on in Hong Kong so I usually come here maybe once a month to check things out so today I'm gonna to be here and I'm gonna check out the shops and you guys are gonna see as well what kind of shops we have in here as far as the collectors goes you guys can actually see there's a big difference from the other shopping malls I go to those small ones this is actually like I said I said a proper shopping mall per se for just the whole family use here you have brand name shops and of course they have restaurants. You guys come here, if you visit, you guys can pretty much, you know, have food, dine out, go shopping, you know, wives, moms, you guys can go shopping, take your kids somewhere. But they do actually have toy collector shops as well for us collectors. Not only that, they also have a Wonderland store. If you guys remember Wonderland, the one I went to Wampo, they have that. They have one of those locations over here as well. Here is the Wonderland shop over here in the uh, Amoy Gardens. This is located on the second floor. And like all Wonderland shops, they have this huge display again of a lot of the figures that they have for sale inside, the, inside their shop. Let's see what they got on display and sale for now. It looks like they got the Mezco, Batman, and uh, ah, Captain Marvel. Let's see, they have Doraemon. And on the top, look, they got the um, artistic version of the Lego sets right now. There's Andy Warthol, and then they got the Beatles. Also, a Sis. You know, looking at about 898 Hong Kong dollars. So that's about 900. So, see, yeah, it's, it's a bit over 100 US bucks. I think about 120. It looks like they're also having some sales. Uh, something in Chinese which I can't read. I think one of my friends told me that you can get a $50 coupon if you spend over 1,000 bucks here, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. And let's see, anything else? They got some Gundam model kits. Okay, wow, they got Cyberpunk. There's, there's Cyberpunk. There's, uh, actually, I don't think the games come out yet. In the bag, you guys can see Juggernaut. That's the older version. It's not the new Marvel Legends version of Juggernaut. And a bunch of other stuff on the front as well. So it looks pretty good. Other side of the display, you guys can take a look. We got the One Piece figures. And then they have the Armored Baltums. I believe they're the Ing, yeah, the Baltums, Baltum series. And here, we're gonna move over. They got a bunch of the uh, Storm series of uh, Street Fighter. And now they're coming out as King of the Fighters. If you guys are into that video game, you can get those action figures now. Have more of the, uh, let's take a look. Marvel, we got the, wow, we got a whole set of King Arts series for Iron Man. And the other movies, let's see on the display top, you can see they got also the gauntlet, Iron Man's hand for sale, you got Thor, I think those are the Marvel versions, yeah, they're the Marvel versions. And on the bottom, some huge displays for Mazinger, and again, Street Fighter. The one thing I really do love about Wonderland is that you have really good display cases to show off a lot of the figures that, you know, you don't want to actually buy unless you actually take a look at it physically, you know, virtually, like I looking for myself, I'd rather definitely like to see a display like this before I purchase an item that I'm really interested in so I can get a feel. I mean, they won't exactly, they're not gonna let you touch them, but it's good to see them on display for sure. And hey, this is kind of new. I've never seen these versions of Street Fighter. Oh my goodness, it's a big blocky style. And what is this over here? This is display Devil May Cry. I guess if you can see that, there is Dante from the Devil May Cry series. It's pretty neat. And looking again at Transformers, Black Arachnia. These are the Masterpiece series. Bump me in the back. And it also looks like they got the Seacons, the combiner for the Seacons. 
Oh, I don't have that combiner yet. I wonder how many pieces. Look, one, two, three, four, five. You're looking, you're probably looking at roughly a little bit over a thousand Hong Kong dollars, about 120 US bucks to make the whole set. And then we see the reissue of the Optimus Prime. They still got the MP of uh, Megatron from Beast Wars on for sale. Quite, quite high price for it. I haven't actually picked up that one either. Transformer fans, here we go. We got the Transformer section. It's not a huge section, and they don't have a display because this shop size actually is a lot smaller. It looks like they're selling. Uh, look at that. There's there's a Mega Supreme. That's yeah, that's a Mega Supreme. You're looking at twelve nine eight. So I roughly believe that's about a hundred and seventy. Yeah, about a hundred seventy Hong Kong dollar. Oh, sorry, one hundred seventy U.S. bucks, guys. One hundred seventy U.S. Let's see. They have Optimus Prime and a little bit of discount. Not that much. So it's still a bit pricey. You're looking at 448, so that's still clothing close to about 60 bucks, 60 US dollars. Let's take a look as well. Looks like they have Overwatch. Interesting. I wonder how much the Overwatch is for. Uh, it's actually a four pack. Didn't actually say the price. Four, four characters. And it looks like, oh, here we go. Uh, you're looking at 498. So you're coming close to about. You're coming close to, I believe, yeah, it should be about 65, 65 US dollars for that four set. Then we have Darth Vader. You guys are Star Wars fans with Darth Vader pack. It's a figure set for 880, so you're looking at about 120 some odd US bucks. I think this is because it's a whole, yeah, it does look like it's the whole set, guys. If you guys are into the Empire Strikes Back, you got Boba Fett, I can see. White Stormtrooper, Darth Vader in the front. And here we go, we got the Punisher. Punisher is at 358, so that is probably 40, a little bit over 40 dollars, I believe, right there. And let's see, what else do we got? Looks like we got another pack. As I said, they always put together the sets. I think we saw this in the previous Wonderland as well. They'll always put these sets together for you, so that you don't have to, um, you know, get every single one uh, separately. Thor Ragnarok. Let's see, two pack. Let's see, what else we got? We got Marvel Legends. Oh, okay. So they got a war machine as well. Oh, let's drop that box. Sorry about that. So Marvel Legends, you're looking at 268. I paid a bit cheaper last time when I bought mine. Aliens. Oh, they got the Aliens release. Okay. Then we got DC Universe. DC Universe. Let's see. Other Transformers on the side. Got small Marvel minifigs. Let's see. Well, let's some of the Earthrise figures. I was actually looking for the uh, the snake, the uh, the cobra one. I haven't, I've yet, I've seen it before. I just didn't pick it up when I had the chance. And now it seems like they're kind of like all sold out. And uh, also, I've noticed these are becoming a bit more popular. These kind of like you know transformable boxes. I've seen these a lot for sale lately, but I haven't actually bought one myself. I've seen them in a quite many stores i don't know if they sell those back in the u.s but guys let me know if you do see those for sale in your walmart or targets i'd be interested to know interesting they have a huge ultraman suits version 7.3 a huge box i believe this is probably one of those one and six scales and they're only selling it for 438 hong kong dollars so you're looking roughly about 60 some odd u.s a little bit over 60 u.s dollars it's a pretty big box i know that netflix has revamped the whole ultraman it looks a lot cooler than of course the original one where they would have like, you know, giant guys wearing those big rubbery costumes. This new um, CGI version, and let's take a look at the back. He looks actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can find this in your Walmart or Target, but let me know in the comments below if you can. I think that looks pretty neat, actually. I mean, he definitely has like very different type of Ultraman than the original Japanese versions. Let's see what else we got here. We also got the real great kits for you Gunpla fans. I got 488 for that set. I don't know how much you guys are buying it in the States, but that's how much they're selling it here in Hong Kong. I also got Mazinger. Mazinger for 398. Take a look. We also got Zeta Gundam. This is the KA version for 420. And we got some Macross as well. Macross was selling it for 238, so that's not a bad price. Okay, some of the Mezco figures again. You guys can see there's Thor. We got Spider-Man, got Cyclops, Deadpool, Wolverine. Uh, I think that's some of the Revol Revol Revoltech, Revoltech, right? Yamaguchi. So there's Spider-Man on there. Down here, let's take a look. We got some Dragon Ball display. Got a Bumblebee. 
you got some uh, Mazinger, I believe, or no, Geyer, Geyer, I, I forgot that set. A bunch of other things. Uh, we got the Leo Custom there for Gundam fans. Thanos, SHF figures in the back. So you can take a look at the prices there. I'm not gonna go ahead and translate all the prices and conversion. I mean, yeah, conversions always change every day anyways. One of those family shops, or you say, um, yeah, just this is a family shop, meaning that it's not, it's not a commercial shop. You can see he has his display, and this is inside a shopping center, mind you. This is a, this is a shopping center. It's a family who owns this shop, and basically, they have a display of the figures that you can buy and sell. He, they, they mainly deal with a lot of the you know, high-end figures. You can see they already got the bad pot outside. A lot of Gundam fixed figuration. A lot of different uh, animated, um, Japanese animated uh, figures as well. But if you're looking for a lot of vintage stuff, you know, that is even, just, I think he does sell secondhand as well, but mostly new as I remember. However, if you're looking for something in his display, he will give you an okay price if you ask him nicely, I believe. It's been a while, I think it's been a while. I, I came here like last two months ago. It's been a while since I've been back. He's got, well, tons of hot toys and also sideshow as well out in his display in front of his shop. Wow, look at that, they got Keanu Reeves from Speed. Wow, I, I, didn't, I didn't notice that before. That looks actually pretty cool. You got Wonder Woman on the top, some Saint Seiya on the top. You also see Michael Jackson. I see that's Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford. Yeah, he, this, this shop definitely loves to do with a lot of figures. So if you're looking for these one in six scale figures, definitely this is a place that you probably would want to check out for sure. And this is what I'm gonna go check out here very soon myself, because I wanna definitely look for more of those sideshow figures that everyone's been telling me about, and the ones that I actually bought already, I found really awesome. All right, now they didn't let me film inside, but I wanna show you guys real quick what I had just got from there, and I think I got something pretty good. So I just got these two figures. Uh, one of them is the Gears of War, uh, Kate Diaz, for 200 Hong Kong dollars. 200 Hong Kong dollars. For this one, this is Storm Collectibles, Kate Diaz. I'll get a, I'll get, we'll get a bit of picture later when I show everything. But this is the real killer, guys. I got a Side Toys, another Side Toys G.I. Joe. Still brand new in the box. And um, I don't know if you can see from here who it is. And I'll show you guys, let's see, maybe it's just on the brown box, didn't I show you? Um, no, okay, yeah, it's Snake Eyes. I got Snake Eyes, guys. I got Snake Eyes, and it came with uh, uh, it came with his dog Tim. I mean, his wolf. Sorry, his wolf Timberwolf is in here. So I got that at, for he, he only. I only paid fifteen hundred, a little over. I think a little bit over two hundred U.S. bucks. So I think this was. I think this is a pretty good deal. I'll have to check. I haven't checked how Google, but you guys can leave a comment below for me. There are two more shops uh, on the same floor uh, that I just bought that hot, that, sorry, that Sideshow Snake Eyes. And they're side by side. So there's another shop here. This is actually shop S97. Uh, the guy said he was okay for me to film outside, but of course, again, he doesn't want me to film inside, so that's fine. But you can see he's got something similar to where I just bought that, that, that Sideshow Snake Eyes and the um, Storm Collectibles um, Kate Diaz. Basically, this is in more smaller scale. You can see he sells a little kid and a lot of vintage stuff, stuff that's a bit older, trinkets, uh, Japanese figurines and things. However, he doesn't deal with anything bigger than one in six scale. He does have some Transformers and Gundam models inside. Uh, he's also got Godzilla. He's also got Godzilla. And some dinosaurs. Awesome, pretty huge dinosaurs. And he does a lot of these miniature figurines. If you're into the Tom, the um, Takar Tommy figurines, he's got a lot of these as well. So this is another shop you guys can visit. It, all these shops are actually on the same floor. So this is actually on the second floor of the shopping mall. To the side display of his shop, uh, a lot of vintage stuff. You can see it actually from the coloration of the boxes. I think it's actually because they've been inside the display for that long. The, the white lights have actually kind of made that discoloration. But you got a lot of vintage stuff in here that's never been opened. This guy's got pretty much everything brand new. Nothing in here besides the figures that you see on display are for for second hand they're all brand new and look well wow, geez he's got miss hong kong not miss usa but miss hong kong box is still inside and yeah you can just really just get a gather that you know a lot of these people they take pride in keeping you know a lot of stuff 
as best condition as they can. The thing also these small shops will do is that they actually list a, a bunch of stuff that comes out for pre-order now. They will actually help you to pre-order items and you come up to the shop to get it. I know it's a bit more convenient if you all probably order online, but hey, you guys never know how the packaging comes. At least this way, if you order from these small shops, uh, do pre-orders for things, you can come to the shop and you can guarantee the box quality will be in very, very, very good condition. So it doesn't cost too much. And if you do pre-order from these small shops, like you see right here, then they will give you a small discount. So a lot of people here in Hong Kong, they, they like to pre-order from the small shops. They don't really want to order online simply because of the fact that again, as we know, sometimes your packages don't come nice everyone sorry that i didn't get more video of the shopping center we didn't actually have a lot more shops to go to those three shops you saw the family owned ones were the only ones that they had in there there was a couple other shops that had some toys in there but it wasn't as big as the ones that you saw before not only that they had the waterland shopping mall now my phone ran out of battery at that time so i couldn't show any more footage but here i am i decided not to be at home but i wanted to take a more scenic view to go show you guys what i finally got at the end of the day today uh from my shopping run today right and if you guys can see behind me the scenic view let me see if i can show you actually you know what i'm gonna go ahead and turn around now i decided to give you guys a kind of a scenic view of hong kong while i show you guys today's haul so pretty much you can take a look around me we're at a park right now that's not too far away from where i live uh, this is pretty much residential buildings around the area. A nice view of the sea. Uh, they call this the Victoria, Victoria Harbor. I'm at a park right now. And opposite, if you guys can see the tall building over there, that's the 12th, building, 12th tallest building in the world. It's called the ICC building, I believe. Uh, it's number 12 if you guys Google it. I think I Googled it like a couple weeks ago, but it's number 12 now. I know China's gotten one of the ones that's number one, but, uh, or number two, I forgot, but there it is right there. And here on the bottom is what I've got today. So we're gonna start off with taking a look at this one. Now I didn't show the where I bought this, but I also got this in Amoy Gardens in one of those family shops. They had the Mega Series uh, Master Made uh, Destructor. Now I only paid roughly about 699 okay for this so that's about almost 80 some odd uh almost 90 hong uh 90 us dollars for this guy so this is basically you can see transformers fans this is the miniature scorponok it's not the smallest one but i think for just roughly almost 90 bucks 90 us dollars i think i got a pretty good deal so i thought this was a good buy and for gundam fans gundam fans oh guys wow check it out there's one of those boats that's right, it was one of those uh, old time, old style Hong Kong boats where people go over and, you know, collect. I think he's actually collecting and recycling things in the water. And you can see there's a guy over there that's fishing on the side too. Okay, back to this stuff. So for Gundam fans, I picked up these right here. These three is, came in a set. It's like a miniature lighting diorama. This was about 25 US bucks, so about 200 Hong Kong dollars. Um, I thought this was a pretty good deal as well because you get three boxes. And uh, they come with, they don't come with the batteries. I think you need to put them inside. And you can see from there on the side, there's a LED light up. I think this is a, I think it was a pretty good deal for this one, guys. You guys can comment again below. And uh, let's take a look. I also bought this. Now, I'm not sure exactly what it was. I didn't actually see the box open. This was actually at Wonderland. And uh, it's M&Ms, M&Ms of some sort, Transformers and Decepticons. I might open the box later, but not right now because I don't want to like have a lot of stuff to carry back with me to the car So I'll leave this up to you guys in the comments to think about what exactly is this inside and I only paid 350 Hong Kong bucks for this. So you're looking about about 50 US bucks And moving on over here. Let's see. We got another Cobra Commander I only paid roughly about 25 bucks for this guy and then this one here, again, again, $25. I got the uh, Storm Collectibles version of Gears 5. Now, last time when I showed you guys I was looking at Storm Collectibles, I was actually quite impressed with some of the figures they had from Street Fighter. This is the Gears of War version. I think the size is comparable to the 6-inch Joes. You guys can comment below. And now for the final reveal for this guy, you guys already saw inside. I had bought that. Here he is. This is basically, I found this Sideshow. Now the thing is, this is strange because I remember I was looking for a Snake Eyes from Sideshow, but the box didn't look the same as this one. It looks completely different. The Commando didn't look different. 
and uh, it says Sideshow exclusive on this one so let me know in the comments below if this is a different version of Snake Eyes that they had because I remember the picture that I looked on Google to find one of these didn't look like this so I'm wondering what's different about it so as I remember as you guys remember I paid 1500 Hong Kong dollars it's just roughly a little bit over 200 US bucks for this brand new inside that guy's shop in the family shop that you saw earlier in the Amoy shopping mall and uh, and I was like wow check it out we got timber that's like a one in six scale timber can't see if we can um, show a better view let me see if I can hold it and then you got snake eyes actually I think yeah because we're outside you can't can't see it very well but um, let's see yo Joe he's got his uh, snake eyes with timber I mean this is I, I, I think I got a pretty good deal you guys can um, basically leave a comment below because again like I said I haven't actually googled to see what this was I remember that snake eyes only came with snake eyes I didn't realize that sideshow had came with timber because I remember I was trying to find the sideshow snake eyes and when I googled it it was said there was only one that had only snake eyes so I'm thinking is this a new sideshow or is this still an old sideshow right so you guys can let me know in the comments below that's gonna do it for this video for this shopping run everyone I hope you all enjoyed it I hope you guys like this scenic view that I'm doing now it's a bit different from just seeing stuff in my home or back in my office so I think from now on every time I do a shopping video run I want to show you guys a bit and bit about Hong Kong and just the scenic view of what you guys can see what's going on around here but in any case let me know what you guys think about today's shopping video did I get a good deal did I get some good prices what do you think about the shops now it's another location you guys can check out next time that you guys come to Hong Kong it's Amoy Gardens in Altar Kok that shopping mall and those shops are roughly on the second and third floor that's not that difficult to find because the shopping mall is not that big and if you guys haven't clicked subscribe please click subscribe and give me a like if you like this video and I'll see you all on the next video